Hello everyone. In this question, we will be solving to determine if a flow is going to be laminar or turbulent. Now, if we need to determine if a flow is going to be laminar or turbulent, we need to work out what the Reynolds number for the flowing liquid is going to be. Because we know that if the flow or if the Reynolds number is higher than 4000, then we can say that the flow is turbulent. That means water is just going in all different directions, just like you see in here. Whereas if the Reynolds number is less than 2000, that means that the flow is more laminar. That means it's flowing like a straight line coming out of the pipe. Okay, And the formula to work out Reynolds number is RE equals rho v d divided by mu. In here, the rho represents density, v is the velocity of, at which the fluid is traveling, d is the diameter of the pipe, and mu is the viscosity of the fluid. Now, we know that it is water that's flowing, so that means the density is going to be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. The velocity at which it is traveling, however, is not given to us in the question, so we need to find it. Diameter is given and the viscosity as well is given. So how can we work out what the velocity will be? Well, for that we can use the equation for flow rate, which says Q equals VA. That means flow rate of the fluid is equal to the velocity times the cross-sectional area through which the fluid is flowing. Now, how can we work out this cross-sectional area? Well, in the question, the diameter is given to us. What is a diameter? It is 40 millimeter. So I can write diameter is going to be 0 0.040 meters, just to convert everything to standard units. And to work out the area, we can just use the formula for area of a circle which is pi r square and that will be pi times 0 0.040 over 2 the entire thing the whole square why divided by 2 because it's pi r square the diameter divided by 2 will give us the radius working this out will give us the area to be 0 0.00125 meter square all right now we know what the area is. You can see that in here, the flow rate is given to you in liter per second. Again, I'm going to convert that into meter cube per second because I want to convert everything to standard units. So Q equals 1 liter per second. Dividing that by 1000 will give us 0 0.001 meter cube per second. Okay, so that is the flow rate of the liquid. Now substituting all of that back into this equation will give us 0 0.001 is equal to the velocity times the area that we found to be 0 0.00125. So we can work out the velocity to be 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.00125 which will give us 0 0.8 meter per second. Now we know the velocity at which the fluid is traveling. Next, we can substitute this value for velocity into the equation to find the Reynolds number. Okay, so we can write Re equals density of water is 1000 times the velocity, which is 0 0.8 times the diameter of the pipe. Again, we got to write that in meters. So that's going to be 0 0.04 the entire thing divided by the dynamic viscosity or just viscosity that's given to us over there, 0 0.001. Putting this into your calculator and working out the answer will give us the Reynolds number to be 32,000. Now, obviously, 32,000 is way more higher than 4,000. Therefore, the flow in the pipe is turbulent flow. Okay, so if we get a Reynolds number of more than 4,000, the flow will be turbulent. Say, for example, we got something like 1,200 or 95, that means the flow is laminar. If it is less than 2,000, it is going to be laminar. More than 4,000 is going to be 
turbulent. In between is a state of transition. Okay, hope you understood this example.